Paipa Boyaca has been declared the department's tourism capital. It boasts the best hotel infrastructure in Boyaca, as well as many other attractions that bring tourists mostly from the Bogota area, Colombia's capital city, but as well from different parts of the country and international visitors. Many of the people visiting Paipa will enjoy the area's natural hot springs, which can be enjoyed on their own or in conjunction with their accommodation. But as you might have been able to tell from me sneaking in the bushes to get that shot, these type of places are outside of my budget. So in today's video, we'll be focusing on some of the free places to enjoy in and around Paipa. The idea of building the lake came from Emilio Fonseca Franchi. In 1955, when Colonel Olivo Torres was governor, and with the help of President Gustavo Rojas Pinilla, the state built the lake, which occupies an area of 1.6 kilometers and has a volume of 4.5 million square meters and is 3 meters deep. It is supplied by the El Salitre stream and other minor tributaries located to the west of the lake. Around Sochagota Lake, there are important hotels in the region where tourists and corporate visitors from various cities in the country visit during their vacation periods and important companies convene to hold meetings of all kinds. But especially strategic planning and recognition events for their employees. The most recognized hotels are the Hotel Sochagota located on the western shore of the lake and the Hotel Estela Convention Center on the south side. This trail to the north of the lake affords you some nice views of the city. The road heading south of the lake, Carretera Pantano de Vargas, will allow you to see some of the scenery of the area, which includes Cerro Pan Azucar. It's my opinion that the walk itself is an event worth doing but there is a payoff at the end, that being the Pantano de Vargas Monument. The Pantano de Vargas is where the Battle of the 14 Lancers that led to the freedom of Colombia took place. And if visiting this historical site leaves you with a feeling that you'd like a souvenir, the nearby tourist plaza has plenty of Juanas, which are like a wool poncho that is native to this part of South America. Como le dice? It's como uh, licorice. De panela. Al fondoc. Es un dulce de, de caña de caña de caña. Es este panela. Es un dulce de caña. 
Okay. Ingredientes: panela, azúcar y aditivos. <risa> Although there's plenty to see in the area surrounding Paipa, there's also quite a bit that one can do within the city. If you're lucky enough to be in Paipa at the right time of the year, you might even get to witness one of the city's festivals. In the open air acoustic shell, the National Contest of Musical Bands has been held since 1975. This is the main band event that takes place in the country and therefore the ideal space to discover new talents. Another popular festival that takes place in Paipa is the National Festival of the Iguana, the Pañolón, the Almohabana and the Amasillo. The festival pays homage to the traditional clothing of the region, the Iguana and the Shal as well as the traditional shearing techniques and the manual spinning that have been preserved in the department. In addition to carrying out a textile exhibition, the event highlights elements of Boyacá folklore, handicrafts, traditional dances, and gastronomy. Visitors can take part in various activities such as the shearing contest, the artisanal fashion contest, etc. The festival is an international indigenous event that attracts hundreds of visitors that come to see the four-cornered coat, hats, scarves, gloves, etc. while keeping their hands warm with an agua de panela. Afterwards they might enjoy some pipa cheese, almohabanas, which is a Colombian cheese bread, and some yuca bread. If you don't have the good fortune of being there during one of these festivals, you can always visit Paipa's main square, which is home to the city's cathedral. The construction of the current cathedral in Hemiruk Park began in 1906 and was finished in 1920, when it was inaugurated by the Colombian president at the time. The finished church features a Baroque facade and a neoclassical interior. Previous to making this video, I made a tour in history of Paipa Boyacá, which you can find on this channel where you can also find other videos of other towns and beautiful places to visit in the Colombian department of Boyacá. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and or leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the video. Like I mentioned, uh, there are a lot more videos of Boyacá that I've made that you can find in the description below this video. There's also a link to another playlist of the time that I bicycled through Colombia, which is part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Colombia and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.